A massive thanks goes out to Be Quiet, Corsair, Eco Waterblocks, Inwin, and Sapphire for sponsoring our coverage at Computex 2019. Hey folks, welcome to our first Computex 2019 video. It's only been a few hours since AMD announced its new Ryzen processors featuring a 12 core one for the first time. It's the third generation Ryzen. Now, thanks to the AM4 socket, these CPUs are gonna be able to slot into a lot of older motherboards. So if you happen to have an older one, you will be able to slot it into a lot of them via a BIOS upgrade. But really you're gonna need the new X570 chipset to get the most out of them. They come with PCIe 4, uh, for one example, and there's also going to be extra features like extra USB and everything. So you really are going to need X570 to get the most out of them. Now on that note, Asus has wasted no time in gathering press to announce a whole load of new motherboards. And uh, we're going to go grab someone from the team now to take us through two of the key ones. Cool. So I'm here with Andrew from Asus, and he's going to take us through the new uh, ROG Crosshair 8 formula. Now, this is the first time that uh, Asus has brought the Crosshair brand to AMD for a long time. So Andrew, if you could take us through some of the key features, we'll get started from there. Yeah, good. Uh, I think you guys will be happy to know that finally, formula is making a comeback on the AMD platform. And this, this will be our flash motherboards. It has a... Uh, Algae armor, and there's also a metal backplate at the back. And you also notice that there's a massive BIM heat sink, can, which can be water cool for showcase sweeps. We so also if have. I can stop you there. So the the backplate and the the water cooling is that all is that all to optimize cooling? I, I yes, yes. Even the backplate is that. helping with cooling. Yes, of course. Yes. Okay. Yeah. There's also a 1.3 inch live dash OLED. It can also show the system stats and uh, postcodes. Mm -hmm. And also, at the back, you'll find the Intel AX Wi-Fi, and in Intel Ethernet, and also one additional 5G Ethernet from Aquantia. There's also a lot of USB ports, 12 at the back and 9 at front. Okay, so plenty of connectivity. Yeah, this is very high in motherboards yeah. on this platform. Uh, one of the things up here we see is a, uh, we've got two CPU power connectors, one eight pin, one four pin. Can you chat a little bit about those? Uh, are they common across the range or what's the, what's the purpose of those? Uh, for this generation, all our ATX board will come with these dual uh, CPU power connectors. They can support up to uh, 650 watts power drill. So it, they can handle all the CPUs, okay. even for even much more core CPUs. Okay, so okay, take you off on that point. So at the moment, AMD has announced a 12-core CPU, but you're suggesting that if if they were to announce a 16-core CPU, I don't if, say that. <laughs> no, no, but if you know, if you know, if um, if they were to, then this board and all the others with the two sockets could handle that, right? Yeah, there's no problem. No problem to at handle all. it. Yeah. Have you tested that, or uh, I couldn't comment that. <laughs> Uh, another thing that seems to be cropping up on X570 is a fan above the heat, uh, the chipset itself. Now, this hasn't got a very good response from the public, so Andrew, I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about that and why yes. it's there. I think you will not be surprised to see this fan on all uh, ATX Pro, not even from Asus motherboard. Everywhere you will see this PCH fan. Because during our test, we actually find that even when you plug in only one SSD, it still runs hard. So we think... <coughs> This is quite uh, necessary to have a fan. So is that is that a problem with the chipset? Is that to do with PCIe 4? Is it inefficient? What What's actually going on there, do you think? I think both. So both. yeah, th this is because of the new design and also for the PCIe Gen 4. Okay. Okay, and now now for something that I'm a bit more excited about is the, uh, the ROG Crosshair 8 Impact, which is the first time that the ROG Impact series has come to AMD. Uh, so Andrew, this is obviously an exciting launch for Asus. Could you chat a little bit about what's going on here. As you can see, this motherboard looks a little bit longer than our previous impact, right? Because this motherboard is based on the mini DTX form factor, which is a little bit slightly longer than the mini ITX, but it still can fit into uh, any mini ITX chassis that doesn't require a riser cable for graphics cards. So to clarify, it's, it's the same width as mini ITX. Yes. But if your case can handle a dual slot graphics card, then as long as you're using it horizontally, it's gonna be fine, right? Yes, okay. and these mini DTX form factors give us space for this larger VRM. Yeah. And it also has two fans to cool down all the CPUs. Okay, and whereabouts is the chipset actually positioned on the board? Underneath, somewhere here. Okay, 
So is, is that being, is here. And it's being actively called by the fans again, yes, like we yes. saw before, okay. And uh, also, we have this special module that plugs into this this board, and we, we leverage the SOD socket. So this is what this is what we call the ROG SOD DIN.2. And there's there are two M.2 slots and two fans and one additional adjustable headers on this module. Great. Uh, and that's a is that a proprietary connector? That's the, the DIN. This this is a just normal uh, DIN.2 slot. Sure, okay. Yeah. Cool. And at the back you will see still a lot of features here. We have a uh, Intel Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. Intel Ethernet a lot of USB ports, and also the diagnostic LED, clear CMOS, USB bus flashback, and the reset button here. We also use the same components, audio component and audio codec that we use on high-end ADX ports. Cool. Now, obviously, you've had to, you've had to make some compromises because of the, the space reduction. I noticed that you've only got a, a single uh, power plug for the CPU. Yeah, because this is a small phone. Factors, of course, yeah. So. But so, is that going to impact support for future processors, or how how big is the difference in terms of what what might be able to be supported? I think the power draw will be a little bit different because after all, this is a small phone factors. But 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 on the other hand, this is two thin design, mm -hmm. providing the best pass to the CPU to the memory tuning. So we just like what we have done with the impact before. This is supposed to set the memory records okay. for, the, for the upcoming okay. Ryzen CPUs. And uh, in terms of availability, both of the boards that we've looked at, they're going to be available on launch on July 7th, is that correct? For IT Expo, it will be a little bit later. Okay, how late are we looking at? Oh, well, I would say approximately maybe one month. Okay, and are you able to comment on pricing at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, well, we'll have to stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll wrap it up there guys and uh, we'll see you in the next video.